I guess I didn't put enough effort than what I was supposed to do. I failed three classes. Second guess myself. No do I know the answer, but I still second guess myself. And it's makes so way. It depends how I read the question. I read it four times. I overwhelm myself. I study it. I looked. I did stuff. I went back. I did not use flashcards this time. Even though sometimes it really doesn't help a sister out. I'm more of a hands on. But I also use YouTube as well. Again. I was up. Now I'm a little bit low. I went from a 3.8 to a 2.8. Yes, that is good. But I was happy where I was at. And all I said, I got to put it in harder. So I have to go harder. What really messed me up was the lab, the lab exams. Some of the stuff that you did not talk about. Some of the stuff that you did not mention. It's like a, this how this goes, and then this is how this goes. So you mentioned a 2.5 seconds, and then you kept going. Yes, I kind of scanned over the book, but I did not put enough effort keep reading it again. I wrote down so many notes, but again, I feel like I failed myself. I was happy that I was up here. And I said to myself, I need to make sure I stay there. All the rest of my tests had AIDS. I was a 4.0 student. I was excited. Said to myself, I ain't never had a 4.0 since I've been in school. Never. I'm always a 3.2 or a 2 point something. But sitting at a 4 point, I was amazed. I was shocked. I feel like I was a nerd, basically. I, yeah, I feel like I was a, a, a nerd, a nerd. It, it feel like that. I literally put in the work. I actually studied it. I did everything as possible to keep that great. I was sitting at a beat. But when I found out I was at a four point, I shouted. I was happy. I think all through this house was Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. But did I say thank you again? Because I'm at a 2.8. No, I did not. No, I did not. Even though I should, I should at least be grateful that I'm still over average. I'm over average. Because over average is a 2.4, 2.5. But I still was happy. From here on out, we got a new chapter. You said, what's the chapter? Hold on. chapter 8 and 9 and that is Stelican, Stelican Skeleton and Joints I believe yeah so 8 and 9 Stelican Stelican and joints. It doesn't make it so bad. This is a good book. But the other problem is that I don't do, but I just keep it, is writing all these definitions, as y'all can see. I mean, baby, there is more. Chapter 7 was like the same thing. Did I write all of them? No, I did not. For chapter 7. 
No, I did not. Did I remember some of them? Yes, I did. But the ones I did not study is the ones that I needed to study. I think that's the reason because I got that grade. I looked at it, I memorized it, but I did not put a little bit more effort. So now I gotta go back into that mindset, put in a little bit more effort than what I was at when I was still standing right there with that grade point average, with that grades, in the mindset that I was happy, I was excited, that I did it. I'm shocked. And again, they feel like I was a nerd. They feel like I was a nerdy. But remember all of these definitions. And to make it so bad, I didn't do that. And make it so, take that back. I gotta write all these definitions for both chapters. Cause both chapters have definitions. Again, somebody said flashcards. <laughs> flashcards might well work. Yes, I do have some. But do I really? Well, chapter eight, chapter nine is not that bad. Cause it's only five and a half pages. This is chapter eight. I mean chapter nine. Both sides and that. And then it's like so bad. This little um, chapter review. That helps too, because majority of the answer was in the book. And to make it so bad, we had tests. You know, this is an online class. So, of course, I'm going to use my book. Of course, I am going to use my notebook. But I still need to rememberize what I have learned or what I have taught myself. So the next exam, there is October the 13th, it's the next one. That's a lab. The lab is October the 13th. And then before the 13th, there's another, it's a chapter eight, nine, I'm gonna say October the the following Saturday before the 13th. I want to say that maybe the, the 12th or the 11th, I mean the, the 9th maybe. And there's chapter questions. I write them all. There's a lot to be written about, but I write them all. In chapter 9, questions, it's up to 52. So, and in the next chapter, it's from 9 to 11. So, like I said, I use my book. YouTube, what the tip? I use the book. I write notes. The teacher have a lecture. Lecture. I use YouTube. It's a, oh, and I use Quizlet. But I need to make sure I gotta pass the lab. Cause I wanna say I'm sitting at a B for lab, but I did fail that test. I failed three tests. One test I had a, two tests I had a D, and the one other test I had a U. Like, everything I have taught was not even on the, the test. I can't stand those type of tests. And two, my anxiety and panic attack 
that comes in place. I think I know what to do now. My day off, I need to go to the school, get a tutor, or we'll do a walk-in lab. For I can put the name with the bone, or the sentence with the picture. Give me some ideas. Just give me some ideas. I mean, I don't play about writing notes. I have notes. I mean, I write notes. Like, I did not come to play. This is my career. This is my life. I, 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 I did. No, what is my other problem is, I don't have the lab book for this. And, but the lab is online. Um, like the lab book is online. Sometimes that can be frustrating to figure out what is, that shit is how she goes. So, so let me have it. Like the book right here, it's online as well. But I need a physical book so I can, I can actually hold it and actually read it because Keep looking at the screen is not going to do for me. Yes, I wear glasses, but still, I need to actually hold it in my hand and actually read it. And that could be another thing. I need to stop scanning and actually read the book. I'm kicking myself the back of my head, but now I need to actually figure out how am I going to do this. And again, I need some opinions. I said opinion. Help us to out. Yeah, help us to out. Yeah, I just need some opinions. Even though I use Quizlet, I use my books, I use the lecture, I go over the lecture again, even though I can replay it over and over again. I need to just actually read the book as well. But sometimes when you read two chapters, it just not fine. Boring. That's what it is. I read one chapter and I, maybe one a chapter and a half. And I'm quick to do something else. Or I close it up. Like I can't get into it, but that's another part of my pieces. I need to get into it. Just like I read half of chapter eight, but writing all these definitions, oh my God. I'ma have to, little by little, and just write some of these definitions. Write some of these definitions or write a page of definition little by little as I go through this chapter. For I can remember. For I can know I just had it. A hip bone. Where do the hip bone go? A hip joint. The iris crest. Or the foot. Or your foot arm. Or your femur. Yes, that is my problem. Write down my definitions and to actually read it. No TV and get into it. I do go to the library. I didn't put, never post that, but I do go to the library every Saturday. A Friday or a Saturday, whatever my day is off, I literally go to the library and actually get all my work done.
like literally, I get it done. My labs, I get that done and I send it to my email and that's what I need to do and I send it to her. That's what I need to do too, cause I already did it. It need to be in her, it need to be submitted by 11. And I know they sent it early already. But I have to figure out how can I pass this next chapter, including the chapter in the lab. I need your advice. I need your opinion. My next chapter is chapter eight and chapter nine. I wanna get hit on, I'm gonna read the chapter because we just started this. Actually, this is getting started this Sunday. This chapter is getting talked about this Sunday. And it ends that Saturday, the 21st. Because we take that text that Saturday. So. I'm going to have to get on it. I'm going to have to read it. And I'm going to have to use YouTube as we speak. So to watching other YouTubers, I'm going to have to watch that YouTube about anatomy. Because for some odd reason, my last test, I did have a beat. I passed that because I watched YouTube. But for here and out, I got to put myself in a little bit of advanced score. So, the work, I got a B. My lab, I'm going to say a D. And that's not good. And it should be hand in hand. But I did fail three tests out of my t uh, tests that I took. Yeah, I'm kicking myself in the back of my head. Yes, I know I ain't going to pass every test. But it was just the effort that I needed to have and I did not put in enough effort. I kind of slack a little bit. And I can't slack no more on this. Give me your opinion. Give me your advice. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. I have Two more months of the this class. This class in December. The seventh, I believe. And here on out, all the way up to November, I need to make sure I pass this class with a B. Because why? Why a B? Because I'm beautiful. I'm bossy. We ain't going to worry about the other part. But I beat is really I really need. And I need my grade point average back up to that 3.8 mark. I'm sitting on grant money and that's what I'm using. I need y'all advice. Sister, brothers. Help your little sister or help your big sister out. That's the grade that I got in school. And I need to put in the work a little bit more. We're going to pray over this. That's what we're going to do. We, we're going to pray over this. We're going to manifest this. We're going to say that we want something. We're going to actually mean it. We're going to actually say what we want, but we can have it. Because there's no turning back. You can't keep taking this class. Because the more every time you take this class, the more money it comes. This class was already $500 next semester is already $600 already 
and I'm not even including the book. The book is already a hundred I was thinking about 150 or 160. And if it doesn't matter if it's a used book or a brand new book, that is too much for tuition. Can you sell it back? Yes, but you, ain't gonna get, you can have of what you just paid for. But I did not pay for this book. I went to the library for this book. And then I went to another college to got this book. Then I need to call this college tomorrow. I should call this college Monday. And so I need to extend this because my class is not done. So yes. That's what I need to do. So yes. Again, I need feedback. And it will be nice if you give it. This time I gotta listen. Last time I don't think I listened to anybody. I only listened to myself, but did I stop it? Yes, but I got what I wanted. I got that beat. And I need that beat back. I need that beat as a grade. For I could sit on that grade all the way through. Until I'm done with this class. But I'm thinking I need to do open lab and tutor. For I can actually get it. But I can actually know. I can be successful passing this class. Because after this, like I said before, I gotta study for that other test. That T test. My clinicals will be in, in January. That is for me to actually get in. I gotta pass this class. I got to. I am, and I will, with the B. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all take care.